Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at an update on Dale the Intimidator Earnhardt Sr. The Good Wrench Piston Cup Racer number 3. Now before I get right into the review, the re-review I should say, let me discuss an update on his bio and career. <clears throat> Dale the Intimidator Earnhardt Sr. was a 1979 Chevrolet Monte Carlo Piston Cup racer that raced for Goodwrench as number three in the Piston Cup from 1979 to 2001. He, he was also the father of Dale Earnhardt Jr., Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, number eight, yeah. and is based off of the real Dale Earnhardt Sr., who also happened to drive the number three car for Richard Childress Racing and Goodwrench. In 1979, he made his Piston Cup debut as a rookie and would go on to win his first victory and the Piston Cup Rookie of the Year awards of 1979. By the following year in 1980, he would go on to win his first Piston Cup and had won six more Piston Cups in 1986 through 1987, 1990 through 1991, 1993 and through 1994 and tied up with the same number of Piston Cups as Strip the King Weathers and Lightning McQueen. Due to his aggressive driving and in a accidental pit maneuvering and bump drafting and tapping, he earned the nickname The Intimidator. Although some fans to believe that he was the inspiration for Chick Hicks, but many wiki pages has been hasn't confirmed it. In nineteen ninety eight, after many years of trying and frustration, Dale would would, would go on to win the Florida 500 at, of the 1998 Piston Cup season at Florida International Super Speedway. And then in 2000, he would go on to win his 78th win, which was his final win. Then in 2001, at the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway, the 2001 Piston Cup season, tragic happened. At the final lap of the Florida 500 race, he got he he got inadvertently bumped by another racer, causing him to spin out, causing him to swerve and crash into another racer between the racer itself and the wall, and a wall on turn four. Causing him to have body structure, have structure damage, and die. And also, and this also resulted Goodwrench to leave the Piston Cup. And after that controversial, tragic moment. He, his funeral was held in his honor. Then by, in between 2017 and 2021, his number three was carried over to a next-gen racer named Karsten Ace Dillon, who I 
Sidewall Shine number 3, who I unfortunately don't have. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Re-review, I should say. So here we've got his smirking facial expression, his headlight stickers with a white number three on one of them, his black grill, which represents as a mustache, and his front bumper, which is white with a red borderline on the top. And on the hook, and we also have his black exterior paint job and the the good wrench logo on the hood. And on both sides, we've got a bit of white with red border lining on the bottom, and his exhaust pipes and his black rims on his black wall light year racing tires, and a white number three with red border lining, and the letters saying GM, which stands for General Motors. And on the top, we've got a white number three with red border lining, no name signature. And on the trunk, we've got the Goodwrench logo in white. And on the back side, we've got the black spoiler and the white number three on the taillight stickers and the GM logo in white in between and the white with red border lining on the back bumper. Now, I did an update on him just to make make Dale Earnhardt Sr. himself look like the Goodwrench cars that the real Dale Earnhardt had driven during his later NASCAR career. And now let's pull up some of the other cars that other Chevy cars we've got Jeff Gorvin, who is a Corvette C6R. Lenny, a 1969 Camaro. Papo, a 1947 Chevy Coupe. Ramon, a 1959 Impala Lowrider. Mater, who I believe is a 1957 Chevy truck modified to a tow truck. And some of the other Monte Carlos, we have his son, Dale Earnhardt Jr., who is a 2000 Monte Carlo. And Daryl Cartrip, who is a 1977 Monte Carlo. And some of the other cars that, that are similar to a Gen 3, with a Gen 3 NASCAR body style. We've got similar to a Gen 3 NASCAR stock car. What we have Chick Hicks, who is a 1979 Schuyster Kremlin. Misty Motocross, who is a Crown Celesta. Greg Candyman, who is a Capital Motors Verve, I believe. And the Husker Morocco's, James Cleanair, Claude Scruggs, and Ernie Gearson. And the stocky Swaver EXs, Murray Clutchburn, Krusty Rodor, and Floyd Mulvihill. And that is it. Whew. So what do you guys think? Which... Gen 3 NASCAR is your favorite? Which Chevy vehicle is your favorite? And which Earnhardt family member is your favorite? Is it Dale Earnhardt Sr. or his son Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned, and hopefully I'll find a motherload of Disney Cars diecasts in 
in NIO. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. But other than that, I hope to find a mother load of Disney cars diecasts, so goodbye now!